What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with more free run. Today we're doing episodes 25 and 26. Remember, if you guys want the full uncut versions of these reactions, check out the Patreon links are down below, like always. And if you guys wouldn't mind following me on my social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. I appreciate you guys insanely. Not gonna waste any more time. Free run, episode 25. Let's do it. All right, this is exactly where we left off last episode. Fern volunteering, free run being happy for her. It is time that the student outbeats the master. It's always the goal of any teacher. Who's just walking with a bloody hand? Because what's her name got stabbed. She used the, the idol to get out of there. Yeah. Loki, me too. He's a real one for that. That is so OP. Shout out my Saitama mage, man. Good. He's going to be able to confirm to us that it doesn't have a mind. To be fair, Denkin wanted the entire group to work together. That information was passed on. Lavine, Kane! Which we know Gana was talking about. I get what he's saying. But also a fair point for you and Fern kind of just jumped away. There's still some little lasting beef from the last part, you know. <laughs> Understandably so. That's why it makes the replicas. That's insane. I want to see a Spiegel. Okay. Just like how I really was intrigued by the Ainsem. So, even if we wanted to sneak past and kill the Spiegel, we have to kill Freerin for the seal. So, and there's a time limit on this, of course would be present yeah so if we could throw a mimic in there we got free run b you know i'm curious what fern's actually thinking because she knows free run better than almost anyone alive it is like an amateurish mistake Okay, shout out Fern for even exposing this vulnerability. Fern's kind of leading the pack right now in terms of this, which is some great character growth and development for her. Gotta have Kanhe and Lavina beefing. Any flashback I get of him on the in the party, I always love. Especially when the song is playing. <laughs> Look at Heischer. That man is hung over. Brings back good memories for her. Shout out to working together, especially with people last phase we were going against, man. I really like Denkin as a character. I really like Lavina and Kane as characters. Just gonna be Freewin and Fern? Freewin and Fern? 
Speak of the devil. We got replicas coming all over. Alright, I respect everyone for going along with the plan. Time for two of the most badass women in the show to put their skills to the test. I love how both free runs are an exact mirror of each other right now. No hesitation. Already snapping with the animation. Oh my lord. <laughs> Again, I'm loving the mirrorness of them. He's just thinking what she would do in the situation. Oh my god, this animation is incredible. Right? In that split second, she's casting that spell. We're not even going to get to see it? Is after Flame's death? I see. Interesting. I want. I wonder what Flame's will says. Interesting. So this is what's starting developing magic in the human world. Loki Flame changed the world in multiple ways, which is insane. Yep. That's a fair and accurate prediction, especially as to what happened. Like I said, Flame changed humanity. Just like that. She's not gonna abide by Flame's last will and testament. Even this was predicted. Flame is different. As you get a glimpse of a young Flame running past her, that was really well done. That flowers one. Yeah, it's one free run used at her grave. I love the way they're interweaving this flashback into the present time when they're walking together. Crazy that she was a human and able to accomplish that much, you know? Flame is truly one of the goats of the world. That's a beautiful shot right there. Now we cut to a thousand years in the future, where we meet the party and where everything, the story begins, you know? Or humans, with the rate they're going to be developing now. I like the way, and now we're cut over, we see a glimpse of Fern. I like the way they're they're doing that. 
because of how short humans' lifespans are, they develop so much faster, they have to make decisions faster. They're going to technically evolve at a rate much quicker than elves, so with how much Flame changed the magic world, it's, it makes a lot more sense, you know, the development of human, human magic as we cut back to how it is now. Ooh, that perfect dodge into Fern. Again, Free Run puts the flashbacks at the best time, man. I got goosebumps, I won't lie to you. I won't lie to you. Alright, this is episode 26 of the Height of Magic. We should have left off right when Fern blows up. Fake Free Run. What is going on? He's creating like a black hole, sucking in all sort of debris. This animation is amazing. Did you create your own earth golem? Nah, free run has one of the best animation sequences. Like they're just killing the game these days. Burn with a quick Zoltrak from the back. Fake free runs on top of that reaction time though. Bro, this animation is amazing. The height of magic is what this episode is called. And we got the other clones coming in as well. <laughs> All right, Lavine plus Richter. All right, the instant freezing. Richter's going to come in with a fucking toss style earth attack. Okay, Kane. We got Method versus who? Laufen, I assume. Yup. Uh, okay, so we dealt with Lavine and Kanes. Oh, is that sense? Oh, hell no. Yeah, I would much rather see you guys survive and fail the test than die. And can see Richter and Lavina getting out of there. How are we going to deal with Sense's replica, bro? Damn, so Richter and Lavina are out. Yubel and Land are late to the party. What makes you think that? I'm not doubting you, I'm just curious. As long as she thinks she can, yeah, she can visualize cutting it. It'll be cut. Talk about a shot between her legs. As it cuts to the real sense. Two years ago. Wow. No magical attack could penetrate that cloak. They were just trying to get through it. That was the test. 
We do know you will kill the proctor in a previous examination. Oh! What the hell? <笑>あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、
Fern is a great mage. I love the shot between them. We've been there with Fern since the beginning. Bro, I got goosebumps, but what is going on? This animation is insane. A vortex of pure mana? As it's withering away our defense right now. Is that from Fern? Did that do it? I hope. Took some damage though. I think her left arm is gone. Fern said, let me spam that move. Both arms gone. Her staff is demolished. What on earth is going on? <laughs> Title of this episode with no arms, bro. Free Rin is insane. Praying that's the, I think that's the end of replica free run. Oh my god. This fight was insane 80 years ago was the demon king. So that's some big <laughs> talk right there. That's crazy Thank the Lord you did that at the right time because we were we were in some bad situations Burn really is scary. <laughs> this is like the first exam all over again. Yeah, where is Free Run and Fern? You can see the other mimic they just destroyed. So Free Run has. That was a. An amazing episode. Some amazing fights. Free One and Fern are one of my favorite duos in all of anime, I won't lie. <laughs> Damn, that episode went by fast, man. I won't lie. And it's so crazy to me to put it into perspective from a show's POV or what they're trying to say. But it seems so in consequential the things we're doing like just the the scope of them like we're only doing this exam so we can get this qualification just so we can start heading up north just so we can really start our journey like and when you put it into the grand scheme of things especially already having defeated the demon king back in the day it seems so small but these episodes in and of themselves when it comes to the side characters when it comes to the mages when it comes to the uh, the new th mat things about magic i'm learning as a viewer and that people like fern are learning like it's so incredibly big and amazing and the things we're seeing happen are incredibly amazing <laughs> like, oh my. technically they did do an, a world achievement by being the first ones to clear this ruins of the king's tomb or whatever but i just cannot believe that this is all just an examination just so we can start heading north where you need to be a first class mage to even go there which makes me really excited about the future especially if there's any sort of remnants of more demon king forces or you know what I'm trying to say, man. This show gets me crazy, man. This show is so good. I genuinely can't lie. Animation, amazing. Characters, amazing. Voice acting, amazing. Music, incredible. I don't think there's an aspect, a singular aspect of this show that's lower than the eight and a half and nine out of ten. This show as a whole is a solid nine and a half. Like it's verging on a ten out of ten. First season wise, this show, oh, like it, it's crazy. It's crazy. Thoroughly enjoying it. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Check out the Patreon for the full uncut versions. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like. I appreciate y'all. Please follow me on all my other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all that for various. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them because you never know when a replica might come after them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.